for me, I want to know there, all there is to know about my profession. Because if I don't, then I don't feel like I can give the best of my ability. Because yeah. I need to know the proper hygiene. I need to know the proper techniques. I need At what point um, did you know that you wanted to pursue makeup and body art? How, does, how do you figure that out? So, um, after I finished school, yeah. I, well, during school I always wanted to be something fancy like an archaeologist okay. or a marine biologist, but I never had the grades and the subjects that I needed to go to school and university for those things. Yeah. So um, I decided after school that I was going to do a beauty therapy course, which I did here in Harare at Silvana yeah. Redman. And um, it was great, but I was very much a creative person. Um, I love the aspects of beauty therapy and helping body uh, pe people to maintain skin, body, etc. Yeah. But um, the makeup side of things really got to me and um, I just thrived on that. And I wanted more of that. So when, um, I think it was a year past, I then went to Johannesburg, which um, where I went to face-to-face -face makeup and beauty yeah. school, which was more in depth, just in the makeup side of things, and body painting, special effects for movies, theater, etc. Yeah, yeah, I love that, man. And so that's interesting because, um, what tends to happen with, with makeup, uh, and I could be wrong about this because this is not a world that I, I exist in, so please do correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I don't see too many people actually like uh, going to school for it, right? Mm -hmm. So what pushed you to actually want to like go to an institution and learn makeup? So as it is today, there's a lot of stuff that you can find online where yeah. people are learning by themselves. They're going and watching things on YouTube, they're watching things on Instagram. Um, when I studied back in the day, like I think the first thing we ever had back then was even, it wasn't even a social media yet. It was... What? I think when the, was it? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> they were giving things away. <laughs> But um, it was quite a while ago, it was yeah. about 15, 16 years ago. Okay, fair enough. So, um, High Five wasn't even out yet. So, I mean, that long ago. Okay. Facebook wasn't even out yet. <laughs> okay, like. okay, yeah, that's so, definitely a long time um, You know, the, the culture was, I, I think back then, especially for me, there was not a lot of like social media, YouTubing, that kind of yeah. thing. Like maybe places to just, learn online. Yeah, maybe I was just like less tech savvy. So I just don't no, know I mean, that I mean, was to be fair, like 16 years ago, man, like, <laughs> yeah, like, all of these things didn't exist, like you said, yeah, right? like, yeah. and so now it's, it's, it's much easier. Exactly. Yeah. So I think these days a lot of people are able to, like, train themselves online, they can watch something and they, they have the natural talent yeah. um, to be able to do that. But back in the day, like, I didn't have all of that to go to. But I've always thrived on um, studying. Yeah. So for me, I want to know there, all there is to know about my profession. Because if I don't, then I don't feel like I can give the best of my ability. Because yeah. I need to know the proper hygiene. I need to know the proper techniques. I need to know the, the professionalism that goes behind what I do. Because if, you, if you're if you using the wrong product, the wrong... Um, brush the wrong this the wrong that i mean you can hurt people yeah you can actually give people infections etc like so many different things so i always like to do things properly um and then bring my creativity into that into as well and make it my own yeah. yeah yeah i love that i love that and so how long was this like uh the program so my makeup course and body painting was so i did six months of beauty wedding fashion um wedding makeup yeah. and then I did six months of the body painting, special effects, um, I make teeth um, like for vampires and movies yeah. and stuff, <laughs> um, I can make prosthetics which is like you know when when you see somebody's arm cut off or somebody's got like a burnt face, yeah. like I can do all of that kind of stuff Ooh, as that well. sounds dope, yeah. that sounds really yeah. cool, that <laughs> sounds really cool <laughs> and so 
I know that you are also like a fine artist, like on, on canvas, right? You paint on, on, on canvas, but uh, predominantly, I think what you are more known for is that like a fair thing to say is like the body art, right? And so the thing that interests me there is that art uh, manifests in like uh, many different forms. Uh, in some ways, this is art, this is storytelling, right? Uh, you do your storytelling, body, body art and, and, and makeup. Um, why do you think you chose that medium, you know, to like tell your stories? <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing question. Um, so I believe that it chose me. I, I didn't go into doing makeup thinking I'm just going to be a body art. Like, yeah. I feel like my career, my passion, it involves so much of what I do. Like I love doing weddings. I love doing fashion makeup. I love, um, you know, doing a, a school dance. You know, I love all the different aspects of what I do. What happened with the whole body art and body painting aspect of things was when I got back to Zimbabwe yeah. after a while of being in South Africa, I wanted to promote myself. And, um, you know, I wanted to bring something different. And so I thought that the body art might be something that I could do yeah, that with. Quite unique. And exactly. And um, just simple fun things. I used to like to do like fun out of the ordinary photo shoots with friends of mine. And it just developed like that. And then I would post those pictures and then people would see more about it. And then I would get asked to do like hair. And um, we had like hair fashion, fashion shows um, in the clubs at one stage. Yeah. We had so many different things going on. I would pa body paint or face paint kids as well, like at all the art fairs yeah. or, you know, the St. John's fairs, etc. you know, to get myself out there a bit more. And then I guess as it developed, like I became known as the body painter. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's, body that's how it became like a thing. <laughs> yes. So, um, <laughs> you know, I used to be very busy with um, weddings and fashion and all of, all of that as well. Um, but as things have developed, like I get more um, like Halloween work. I love painting on pregnant bellies. Ooh, yeah, that's I saw that on your Instagram. Yeah, that's a beautiful <laughs> um, gift to give um, like somebody that you're wanting to do a photo shoot for with a pregnancy. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just developed. And then with my body painting, I also do art exhibitions with my mum, yeah. which is amazing. And I also held to with um, a friend of mine, a French photographer, uh, Eric Gauss. Um, we did two body painting exhibitions in 2009. So all the way back then, just when I got back to Zimbabwe. Yeah. Um, and that's how actually my body painting really started to develop. Because from Eric's ideas, then I was really getting excited about making my career more about the body painting as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's interesting. I love that. I love yeah. that. It's so, it feels so like organically, like how you even went to study and then mm -hmm. to practicing it uh, professionally. Um, I asked this question, but I hate to ask it because people ask me a similar question and I never have an answer, right? Uh, do you have a favorite? Because you talked about like body art, you talked about uh, briefly about the canvas, right? You talked about um, doing weddings and all of that. Do you have a favorite? Do you have a medium that like fires you up more? Than <laughs> <laughs> so, gosh, I get, I, I have, I have to say I have the best job in the world. <laughs> so if I had to pick one, yeah. um, it's, it's a struggle to put my finger on it. You know what I love doing is yeah. when I get to have creative freedom. So creative freedom to me, that's like my absolute favorite where yeah. I can just bring whatever's inside of me out. So whether it's in for something fashionate for regarding fashion, yeah. or if it's a body painting where I'm just given free reign. Um, weddings are a bit more tricky because obviously it's very specific. Yeah. You don't want to look like <laughs> yeah. a clown on your wedding day. Um, but I just, I also just love the the relaxed feelings that come from doing a wedding because it's very beautiful, very natural, very yeah. well, vibrant. Sometimes they want really vibrant, yeah. but. Um, yeah, I, I love it when I get given the opportunity to create 
in my own way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love that. So, so the reason I'm saying um, it's a, it's such a hard question for me to ask is because people always ask me the same thing about Untold. They're like, "What's your favorite episode?" and I don't know. <laughs> like all of them? It all brings something like so Like all different. of them, yeah. Like all yeah. of them are so different. All of, I talk to like so many different people, so it's always, so I knew it would be, it's rare that I ask someone that question and they can like pick a thing and <laughs> it, it never pans out like that. And I, and I understand it, right? Yeah. And so one of the interesting things about you is um, the multifaceted nature of your work because like you're saying you, you were telling me uh, just before we started is you're also like a personal trainer and you also paint on canvas which i i had an idea but i wasn't like clued in like that like that right mm -hmm. and so these are all like really uh different things maybe what i would ask you there is um what does what does personal training do for you that maybe um, the traditional art uh, doesn't? Is that like a fair question? <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be honest, um, yeah. the personal training brings in um, a set of, it, it brings in money for me that I might not necessarily be getting from, from art. Um, the art. So, you know, personal training is taken because it, personal training, people got to trust you, right? You, you're working with people's bodies, just like yeah, their faces like as well. Yeah. So you have to slowly build up your clientele and, and people got to trust you and know that they're safe with you. Um, just almost with anything that you're doing. Yeah. Um, they got to know that they can, they can trust and they're safe yeah. and they're not going to get hurt. So for me... I love, absolutely love personal training because again, it's very personal with, with my clients yeah. and I get to help people. I get to help people live a healthy lifestyle. And that's just magic for me because um, I had to also learn how to live a, a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. Um, and there's nothing more important than your health um, for me and for a lot of my clients as well. Yeah. Um, so for me, I always, I like to think of personal training also as creating art because okay. your body is art. If you think about it, if you go into how we're created yeah. and all the little functioning systems and stuff inside <laughs> yeah. your body, um, like it's just art. There's so much art going on in your body and you know, your health is also art. Like there's so much that you can do for your mind, your body and your spirit just from living a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. And it doesn't mean it, it has to be boot camp or yoga or <laughs> something. Like it just like needs anything, to be like it, for it you. needs to be anything that you can that you can fit into your lifestyle and yeah. that it creates a healthy aspect to your lifestyle because there's so much in the world right now that is so unhealthy for us. And I don't just mean food and not exercising, etc. Yeah. <laughs> I mean so much else that, that's um, health related. Yeah. Um, yeah. I yeah. think of I think of the stuff that we sometimes consume like in media sometimes as well, like mm -hmm. when you when you say that, right? Yeah. But but um, I love that because up until like today, I've never like thought of my body as art. Mm -hmm. But when you said it, there was like something intuitive about that. It was like, okay, that like fair enough. I, I hear it and it makes sense, right? Um, and so a thing I want to ask you and, and um, this uh, was prompted by you mentioned in terms of like uh, doing fitness just to uh, sustain yourself like on a financial uh, level right mm -hmm. uh, I do want to ask you something because you've had an experience in in South Africa you've had an experience in in Zim um, from your experience of art in in those two places um, what would you bring from South Africa to Zim uh, and what would you take from Zim and like put it into like SA? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, so yeah, first of all, uh, fitness is not just the way that I make money. I do yeah. love what I do with my fitness. Um, so it does help me to be able to create more. Yeah. So I'm getting, you know, the funding that I need 
to pay my bills and to live, but also but to also be able to, to create at the yeah. same time. Yeah. So I'm very blessed to be able to do that. Um, and then, gosh, yeah, okay. <laughs> the first thing that came to mind when you asked that was, <laughs> um, I feel like at least when I studied there, yeah. South Africa had a lot more freedom than Zimbabwe. Okay, and I believe enough. that it still does. And I will explain. Yeah. One of the things that I did body art wise, one of the first exhibitions that I did um, in South Africa was for an artist who did beautiful paintings and wanted a nudist group yeah. to come and be part of her art exhibition. Yeah. So she wanted us as makeup artists and body artists to paint this nudist group so everything's all hanging out. Yeah, yeah that's definitely a tough sell. <laughs> and we, we're painting body parts and we have to look at it as a canvas. Yep. And that's what it is. <laughs> and, um, you know, there's a lot of things that I do here in Zim that I wish I could have a little bit more freedom. Yeah. As in, yeah. and, and I'm, I'm meeting people that are finding the same um, I'm creating with people that also, they, they want to express themselves. They don't want to be covered up. Yeah. They want to be painted on. And because it becomes like a, a, a set of clothes. When yeah. you paint, you don't see the body. You see the creation. Yeah. Um, so I would love to bring more awareness to, to that of being comfortable with our bodies. Um, and sure, and in a, in a space where it's, it's safe and comfortable. Yeah. And you can be free. Um, so in the aspect of body art, um, I would I would definitely bring that to some like that freedom to that to freedom create to create and not have to worry about covering up yeah because it, you can't even see anything yeah when I that can't even like imagine I can't even like imagine that in yeah. Zoom and what like how people would take that and <laughs> it, yeah it would just become like such a thing yeah <laughs> and then um, what are some of the highlight like projects that you've worked on uh, like things that where you where you're like man i really really loved working on this okay yeah, yeah that's an easier one <laughs> um so i've done quite a few music videos um throughout my time as a makeup artist and yeah. i love music videos um so i've just done one last year with man friday yeah, um, I think I saw that. Yeah, it's a really good one. Caravans in the Mist is fantastic. Yeah, I think Loved I saw it. that Loved on, it. on Instagram. Um, and then back in the day, in, uh, well, back in the day, 2012, yeah. we did a beautiful film called Free State, um, which we shot at Leopard Rock. Ooh. Yes. What so, was that about? So that was about, um, so this lady from, I think she was from America. Yeah. She had come out to... Um, do some work um, in, in Africa and she had a driver um, and they ended up falling in love and um, mm. so it was kind of coming um, you know past the boundaries of I guess like black and white culture yeah. coming together and um, falling in love and because I don't know for me I back in the day there was still pretty big stigma, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Our culture is not mixing. <laughs> and I think it still can be still quite like yeah. that today. So it was a beautiful film of showing how love, it doesn't know color, it doesn't know boundaries. Yeah. It just manifests. It just manifests. It? And once you're falling in love, there's nothing you can do about it. And um, it was just beautiful. And, yeah. and, and the things that she had to go through in regarding that, it was a very short film. Um, it's actually a book. Um, so by a Zimbabwean writer. Oh, don't ask me all the other details yeah, about it yeah, right I mean, now. Fair enough, we'll, but, we'll um, figure that, that out. That was one of my favorites because it was my first film. Yeah. Um, and that was really fun. Yeah. Um, music videos. I used to be beauty editor and makeup artist for Domino magazine. Um, okay. Which was phenomenal. That was yeah. um, back in the day as well for a couple of years. Um, and it was when like Fashion Week, Zimbabwe Fashion Week was all yeah, up, and, yeah. up and going. Um, so that was phenomenal. I really loved yeah. that. Um, 
And then, yeah, just, I love weddings. Weddings are just beautiful, just being part of somebody's beautiful day. Yeah. Making them feel really special and um, just more gorgeous than they already are. Yeah. Um, bringing Fair. out their natural <laughs> beauty. <laughs> Some people like dramatic, so sometimes we go a bit dramatic. But um, I'm really, really loving, really loving collaborating with my mum these days. Um, on exhibitions with her. We travelled a bit last year doing exhibitions in Cape Town and in Mauritius. Yeah. And I got to do, you know, body paintings for both. And it was just so amazing. We work so well together. Yeah. So that's what's floating my boat at the moment. Yeah, I love that. I love that. <laughs> so that's like a, a good thing because naturally uh, that allows us to go into uh, an upcoming exhibition. You're actually working with your mom again, right? <laughs> in in June, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and we've been touching on exhibitions uh, a lot, actually. Uh, you've been hinting at some. You've done like uh, the photographer you mentioned. I think that was 2012. Uh, you mentioned uh, what you were doing last year, mm -hmm. and so that's interesting to me because uh, I assume. Uh, the routine with that is a is it is it different from like your your regular work? Um, does does that require like a different? Does that require different aspects of Kelly to show up? Definitely. Um, so again, coming back to it being my own creation. So give it, yeah. my mom giving me the freedom to go create however you want to create. Um, and I do get inspired by her artwork, so I do thrive yeah. off that and I, I get inspiration from that. But I find um, if I'm told that I'm doing a wedding or I get to go and do a fashion shoot or whatever, yeah. they already know the kind of look that they want. Yeah. And it's very easy for me to go, okay, it's a wedding. Okay, usually we're going for this. Um, so it's very simple. I've done thousands. Yeah. It's easy and get it done and everyone's happy. And where the exhibitions and the body painting comes in, I get a little bit nervous. And <laughs> yeah. the fear does kind of hit in because it is more personal. So it's very um, like my creation. Yeah. And I think when you do create your own cre creation with nobody other's expectations on you, my expectations go through the roof because I'm the hardest person on myself yeah. and I want it to be perfect and I want everybody to see the perfection. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, but I do, I try to just let it go and let it flow and let it be exactly what shows up because that's where the creativity lies yeah and um but yeah i do get a little bit overwhelmed with the ones like that because it is so personal yeah, yeah. i i i think i hear that <laughs> i think i hear that and it's I, I suppose the the pool of feedback is is much larger than with like you're saying like fashion or a wedding where it's if the bride is happy and the people like immediately around her are happy yeah. then you've done your part right uh but with this it's with, with with art it's a bit like more abstract and people are taking like different things um from it right and so um with the exhibition in june it's also collaborative right it's you your mom uh lynn barry uh and jonathan zuzi if i'm not mistaken I johnson, hope I, yeah. johnson yeah, yeah johnson zuzi um with the aspect of collaboration, um, because that's also like a recurring theme for you, uh, why is that something that, do you think that just happens by chance or it's something that you actually like gravitate towards? Um, so the funny thing is, um, and I hope this answers your question in the right yeah. way. So um, I've always just been a part of my mom's exhibitions. So, um, and then also with Eric, when we did the exhibitions, yeah. I was also kind of just part of his idea. Yeah. So in this aspect, it is all three of our exhibitions. 
So we've been yeah. given the theme because yeah. of, I'm sure my mom went through it with you, but because um, we had a house fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then that's how it created what the theme was going to be for the exhibition. And um, at the same time that we had had a house fire, Johnson had had his house fire. This was going on about 10 years ago. Yeah. And this is how this exhibition has developed. Um, so we've all been given, mum has wanted us to all have our own creation. So she's bringing what she needs to bring to it. Johnson's bringing what he needs to bring to yeah. it. And I'm bringing what I need to it. So it's a much more like threesome in this exhibition. Yeah. Because it's not just we're part of Lynn Barry's exhibition. It like is everyone, everyone exhibit. in yeah. that space. And it's very personal for each and every single one of us. Yeah. Um, so it's different. It's, it hits different this time for sure. Yeah. 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 I love that. I love that you use the word threesome because that's exactly the word <laughs> that Lynn used um, <laughs> when she was in that chair. So I'm having like uh, a flashback. flashback right now. I'm like, okay, fair, the apple does not fall far from the tree. <laughs> and um, I will ask you um, one more thing. Um, because like you mentioned, uh, and one thing that keeps popping up is how like how personal uh, your work is, uh, how intimate it is in that you work so closely uh, with other people, like you're working on their bodies. Uh, I, I suppose the question I would I would ask is um, how do you how do you handle that? Because each person. Um, has their own personality, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they would need you to work with them almost like in a, in a different way, if, if, if that makes sense. So how do you approach that? Just like the novelty of each person requiring a different, uh, a, a malleable version of Kelly's, how I'll, I'll mm -hmm. put it. Mm -hmm. So basically when people ask me to do something body art wise or fancy dress wise, yeah. etc. Uh, because the body painting and the special effects, it does come a lot at Halloween um, and for different parties. Um, yeah. And only really does it come out in my own aspect and creativity when there's exhibitions that I'm yeah. part of. So in the aspect of people contacting me to do Halloween or parties, that kind of thing, they already have a kind of idea of what they're wanting to go for. Yeah. So that's great. And they're very comfortable, they know what they want, and um, they know that I'm going to be working on them. Um, and usually it's not uncovered, usually yeah. it's on arms or chest and head, Days, back, yeah. you know. So it's, um, it's still very personal, but uh, it's, you know, what they're wanting as well, and um, we're all very comfortable. Okay, very so comfortable that trust that is space. there, like, it's going into there. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I have a lot of... Um, uh, recurring kayak clients so you know a lot of people that keep like, coming back yeah and, um, and once you've done that once it's... exactly and then to to answer about the actual body painting and getting somebody to be part of what I'm creating yeah because I will usually go and find somebody that I I think would fit best for what we're creating yeah um, and yeah, it's just, just creating a friendship, creating, um, getting to know each other, um, and seeing what somebody is comfortable with doing, because a lot of times also with the creations that we do, it's not just photographs or it's not just, you know, sitting, it's, it's actually, they then also being part of the, of the exhibition. Yeah. They're walking around, they're talking yeah. to people. It's almost like performance art. Exactly. They might be dancing, they yeah. might be talking to people, explaining what's happening um, with what we're doing for the exhibition with my body art. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of, which we can go into as well just now, yeah. is um, we're doing an art film. So we're doing an art film to go with my body with, paintings okay. to suit the exhibition. So in that aspect, I've gained an amazing and we can go into it just now again, yeah. but I've gained an amazing um, collaborative team that has joined me on this project. So it's not, yes, so the three main parts are mum, 
myself Johnson. Yeah. But there's so much more going on oh, yeah. that I would love to tell you about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so in that aspect, those models, those creators with me have had to feel very comfortable because we've been working full body. Yeah. We've been working, um, a lot of it's been covered, the, the main parts, but we're still working full body. Yeah. And you need to feel comfortable with somebody like that. Yeah. So always just creating um, the friendship, you know, laughing, having fun, making people not feel self-conscious, you know, it's just part of the art and yeah. it's part of life and just giving the creation to the world and being part of that. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Yeah. I, I love that. And so we, the last thing we actually explore is uh, what I was going to ask you. Um, with the exhibition, right, um, you mentioned a film accompanying the body art. Yes. <laughs> uh, which I assume is like, a, have you ever done something like this before? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why was it important uh, to you uh, to, to like do something like that? Or I, at least I hope that doesn't like preempt uh, anything that you're actually trying to do like in June. No, yeah. so happy to talk about it. <laughs> um, so what happened was, um, so obviously with mum's exhibitions, I always do the body painting. And then she said, well, why don't you print some previous work that you've done, put it on the wall. Yeah. And so I started thinking about that and I thought, yeah, that sounds okay. But it's stuff that people have seen before. And um, so my, my head started ticking and... It's funny, in, in literally the space of a week, yeah. two friends of mine, one a cinematographer and one a photographer, we decided to all get together and have coffees and whatever. And these people I haven't seen for quite a while. Yeah. And they just kind of started showing up in my life again. <laughs> it was bizarre. Like, convenient. So, <laughs> absolutely. And by this stage, I was like, you know what? We need to stick with the theme. I don't want to put something on the wall that has been seen before. Yeah. I want to stick with the theme, which is our burnt offerings, reinvention and taking flight. Um, so I wanted to stick with those themes. And um, so I said to these guys, I said, guys, do you want to be part of something? I didn't know how it was going to come out yet. Yeah. But first, my photographer friend, I said, Faz, do you want to be part of this? Taking some amazing photos, body painting, we'll go wild. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but do you want to be part of it? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, great. And then my other um, colleague, Sebastian, he's just coming back from Belgium and being from overseas. He's a cinematographer, so he does movies and that kind yeah. of thing, not just video. He's also a movie creator. Yeah. So I said, Seb, do you want to create a movie to go with the photos? <laughs> and everyone's been in. And because of the theme, because of how it can really talk to people and touch people, Yeah. Um, and everyone's been through something that the, that the exhibition is trying to portray. Um, from the, the models, the dancers, the people that we've needed for food, the people that are doing the fashion, yeah. the location, the, I mean, everybody has been so incredible and so in yeah. um, to collaborate on this project. And it's just phenomenal. It's just grown and grown and grown. And we've got people working on um, the background music, on the soundtrack. So many exciting new, yeah. new people yeah. that develop yeah. and come in at every time. And it's just, it's going to be mind-blowing. Um, and I'm just so grateful because um, God has just brought all of this in at a time yeah. where I feel that we've all been led to each other. And we need to create, we need to help people we need to, you know, spread our wings and, you know, have everybody um, be part of everybody else's lives. Yeah. Like, I think yeah. it's so important and to also let people know we're not alone. And that's what yeah. this whole <laughs> also creation is about, is not feeling like you're alone. Everybody um, goes through the same heartbreaks and heartaches that um, this whole exhibition and what we're trying to do yeah. portrays. Yeah. And um, that's what we want to bring to the world. I love that. 
Uh, and first Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, and I think um, that's a really like uh, beautiful like place to end. Um, thank you so much, Kelly. <laughs> Can't wait to to see the exhibition. Uh, June does it have like a set date in June? So um, I think the main opening is on the second of June. Second of um, June, Pikachu Gallery. Pikachu Gallery in yeah. Helensville, yeah. yeah. Um, but it will be running for them for Before, all of June. Right. But to see the the body painting, etc. You have um, to be, be on the second. In the house yeah. on the second on, on the, the second, second of June. Yes. Now, like all the best with that. Um, I would definitely pop in. 